Okay, let me just say this right off the bat so that people don't get angry at me in the comments because I know there will be some people like that. I am not pro-Russia in this entire situation of what is going on in Europe right now. But we have something to talk about, and this isn't really anything to do with Russia. This is more about the companies that are over here in America, let me just point out, who are reacting to everything going on in, in Europe in a really, really weird way. We are living in strange times, everyone, where the internet, where companies are taking cancel culture to a whole new level and are using social media to virtue signal in ways that we have never seen before. These are just insanely enormous ways that people are virtue signaling right now so we have this right here which we're going to open up with uh the these people are pulling russian russian vodka from their stores per ohio governor's orders now you're going to notice a trend a trend with all of this okay and uh before we before i say anything about that let's go ahead and move on to this as well so ea this actually is something that just came out uh today ea is removing the russian national team and all russian clubs from fifa so ea sports stands in solidarity with the ukrainian people and like so many voices across the world of football calls for peace and an end to the invasion of ukraine now that right there that 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 sentence great totally totally on board with that sentence but then they move on and say in line with our port partners at fifa and uefa i'm not i don't follow soccer or football whatever you want to freaking call it i don't follow any of that so i don't know uh ea sports has initiated processes to remove the russian national team and all russian clubs from ea sports fifa products including fifa 22 uh 22 uh, and then they go on and on. So basically they're, they're eliminating Russia from their games. We will keep our communities up to date on any actions taken and thank players for their patience as we work through these updates. Now, let me just say this. Actually, I commented this on here. I said, this literally accomplished nothing because that is indeed what is going on with this virtue signaling. It isn't doing anything to actually help. It isn't accomplishing anything. Do you think do you think that Putin cares? Do you think that Putin cares if you can never if you can't play as as Russia in a stupid video game anymore? Like this is all just ridiculous. There there's nothing really at loss here with people doing this type of stuff like like this. Like you already paid for this freaking vodka. Like, you already paid for it. Taking it off of the shelves isn't going to do anything. It's just a virtue signal. That's all it is. And that's what I wanted to get to because all of this that is going on right now with all of this, while, yeah, sure, you know, I, I mean, I, I am not happy about the stuff that's going on over in Europe right now. I think that it's terrible. I think that what is happening is a complete tragedy. But doing stuff like this isn't accomplishing anything. It isn't doing anything. It is literally just a virtue signal. So we have here as well the Walt Disney Company uh, saying, given the unprovoked invasion of Ukraine and the tra tragic humanitarian crisis, we are pausing the release of theatrical films in Russia. So, uh, including Turning Red, apparently, which, is, honestly, they're doing Russia a favor by not uh, putting that over <laughs> in Russia at all. So, and so you have all these movie studios that are also not, you know, showing their films in Russia right now because of everything that's going on. It's just a virtue signal. They aren't really going to be losing a whole lot of money from not doing this with Russia. Now, if they really wanted to prove something, if they really wanted to show us that they really, really cared about these types of things i would love to see these companies and i'm challenging these movie studios to stop showing theatrical films stop putting theatrical releases in china that is my challenge to you because if you really want to prove something think about it china is doing a bunch of terrible things as well with with genocide of of the uyghur people and everything else i would love to see them actually put you know Put some grit behind what they're promising here, behind their their convictions, and and stop showing films in places like China. But they're not going to because China is a powerhouse for money. It, it really is. Like they they make so much money over in China, it's ridiculous. So they're not going to do this type of stuff with China, but they will. Of course, virtue signal about this type of stuff with Russia. So all this is just a virtue signal. We have cans. Uh, uh, film festival blocks Russian delegations. Paramount halts Russian release of Sonic 2. So, 
it's all just ridiculous what's going on and it doesn't accomplish anything in the long run like you aren't really doing anything to help right here i mean it's all just virtue signal at the end of the day and it doesn't really mean a whole lot when you are still willing to push these films in a genocidal country like china you aren't accomplishing anything by doing this so with that being said let me know what you think about this in the comments below let me know what you think about everything that's going on with with russia and ukraine and everything else hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys enjoyed the virtue signaling coming from all these ridiculous companies and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon bye